my name is Catherine Grace. I'm a geography professor, uh, associate professor at the University of Minnesota, and I'm also the associate director of the Minnesota Population Center. I work on um, mostly the way that environmental uh, factors related to climate change and food insecurity impact women's reproductive health outcomes and also early child health outcomes. And so I think a lot about context, um, environmental weather, climate context, and how that shapes or influences um, the, the experiences of women. I have a paper that I wrote in 2017 in Nature Climate Change where I talk about why it's so important for the scientific and policy communities to consider the impacts of climate change on women's reproductive health and fertility outcomes. And one of the things that I do in this, in this paper is I highlight the framing of this, that there are direct impacts and indirect impacts. And what I mean by that is there might be something like heat waves that influence people's health pretty pretty immediately. And there might be other things like rainfall uh, decreases maybe that show up as a type of drought that through a couple of months or through several other processes end up in impacting people's health. Um, and so DHS gives us a chance, the way the data is structured, to investigate these kinds of questions. Um, and this paper also talks about the use of DHS and the utility of DHS to link with these other data sets um, to think about it within this broader framework of how climate change impacts can, can ultimately show up in women's lives. So DHS is a really important tool for getting at the, for understanding these relationships and the better that we can understand them, the more we can develop appropriate place-based humanitarian interventions that support individuals' healthy development. Um, and so DHS is a real key feature in, in advancing that type of research.